Hello and welcome back to this new video. My name is Adina Meyer uh, from LifeNerd and I am a senior director with Color Street. And today we are going to talk about how to make authentic friendships on Facebook. And in, you can apply this to Instagram too, but I'm specifically going to talk about Facebook today because I believe that that's what most people use. Um, so when you join any adventure, you are so excited and probably you have family and friends who are excited for you and they are starting to purchase from you. And, uh, you know, life seems great. And what I see most often with my team, that they have this amazing enthusiasm at the beginning, they are super motivated. And after a month or two, it starts to kind of go down. And when I ask what's happening, they say, well, no one is buying from me. So here's the thing, your family and friends, they might support you at the beginning because they want you to succeed, but they are not gonna be the lifeblood of your business. You can't only, um, you can't just count on them to make your business survive and even less to thrive. So if you want to have your business really explode and be successful, you need to find always fresh blood. And that is why network marketing often has a bad reputation because people take this to quote unquote code messaging people. They just go on social media, find any person who is there and send a message that, hey, do you want to buy this product? Or, oh honey, I have seen your post and you would be so great on what I'm doing and they just, you know, vomit all the information. Don't do that. No one likes that. And this is, you know, 2021. You are gonna be blocked. No one's gonna reply. I guarantee you it's not gonna work. So how to build those relationships on social media without being the spammy person? So when I joined Color Street, I had about 200 friends on social media and on Facebook and I barely ever used. Like maybe I posted a couple of times a year so I have not been, you know, a social girl at all. So what did I do? And I'm going to try to share my screen and show you how to, how I did, I went on to find new friends I actually want to connect with, not just adding them for the sake of, you know, having more friends. The goal is not to have max out and have 5,000 friends on Facebook. The goal is to find new people you want to connect with, you want to build this friendship with, and eventually it might lead to, you know, buying a product from you or, you know, becoming a business builder with you. So when I go to social media and I'm gonna, um, share my screen now and go on my Facebook and just do a little bit of step-by-step -step, um, how to find those people um, when you send friend requests. So I will go to uh, Google Chrome. Sorry, it takes a second. I just try to see what to... Uh, share. So when we go here on Facebook, this is my page and I should have taken up because of course my husband is messaging and he's in grocery store. So I go to my friends list and find someone who you, um, who you like, you have a really good, you know, Jamie, for example, okay, I can show Jamie is one of my best friends. So I can go to Jamie's list and see if I can see her friends list and I might not see and you see how good friend she is she has a bunch of she's actually not her name and she this was when we went to Belize together and she posted about her nails so these are the friends you want to surround yourself with but actually um I don't know if I can see her friends list so when you go and go on her friends list and then I see who are friends that are not mutual friends but we are both friends and not connected yet. And you see, we have a lot of friends in common already. So she might not actually be the best. Let's go back. Let's find someone else. So let's see maybe someone who is like a recent friend. So I connected. Okay, let's see Jessica. So, you know, 
I go on Jessica's friends list. She has a lot of friends. Let's see if there is anyone. So I'm looking at pictures, you know, that we have a lot of friends already in common. So of course you don't, you know. So you just scroll down until you see people that you are actually not friends with yet. So all these, when it appears at friends, those are people you are not friends with, but Jessica is. And then you want to see, I like to see like profile picture that, you know, there is something that just attracts me like Lynette. And then the other thing I try and I don't know if, okay, so there is, for example, Tiffany and we have 18 friends together. She seems like someone I would love to, you know, make friendship. So I go and, and I usually don't go when it's just like one person you your friends because they're like, who are you and why do you want to connect? So I'm not going to connect with Kennedy. I don't think that she is the type of girl I want to connect. Um, and so anyway, I just go through it like this and see who are people who seem to be like my tribe and, um, and add them. And, you know, like 17 friends. She seems like someone. And then I usually do like 10. Facebook doesn't like when you add a lot of people, they would put you in jail. But also there is really no reason to add more people because the goal is to build authentic relationships. And if you just add a bunch of people, you are not going to be able to reach out to them and build those relationships. So, okay, you added them. They accepted your friend request. What's next? Once they accept, I would go and let's just pretend that she already accepted me. And I would go and, um, and when you go up, I, let me put that back for a second. So when I go back after here, I go every day and just go to friends. Recently added. And these are friends I added or, you know, they friend requested me. And then once they are here, I go every day. I try to come every day and then go here and just send a message. Like Jessica seemed just, she just connected with me and I would send a message to her that, hey, Jessica, hey, hey Jess. And that's it. So I sent her a message and we will see um, if she will. Okay, I'm going to come back. So I just see if she's going to reply. And you know, some people may not. And that's fine. It means they don't want to connect with me. And that's okay. You know, we are looking into building relationships. And relationship, it's a two-way street. If they don't want to connect with me, you know, you cannot really force. So you just send it out. And then depending on, you know, what she replies, how she replies. Usually if just like thumbs up, I let it go because it doesn't seem like they are very much into the engaging mode. If they message back, they thank you, you know, like after you just pick up the conversation, like you would be in a grocery store and someone is standing behind you when your kids are going crazy and, you know, have a conversation. So that would be my first step. So I recommend that you go and add 10 people every single day and then go in spend you don't have to spend much time like if you do this i would say 15 minutes a day you can add the people and send out that initial message for those who you know accepted your friend request and you will see with time like i don't even invite too many people anymore because i probably get like between 15 to 20 friend requests on my own. And I don't even accept all of them. I look at them and if I don't feel that I feel a connection with that person, I don't accept them. So here it goes for um, how to build up your social media, how to get more friends and how to start to build those genuine relationships. And have you seen, I didn't message Jessica that, hey, would you like to buy my product? This is not the goal. We are not offering anything yet. We are seeing who we are connecting here. So thank you so much. I hope that this was helpful. If so, you know, give a thumbs up um, and reach out to your upline if in our team and let, let me know or let your upline know what you learned from this video and um, keep crushing. <laughs>